Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In today's lesson, you will learn numerical integration. Okay, you know that when you integrate function of fx, okay, let's see, this is the graph of function of fx. Then when, when you integrate fx from a to b, a to b, you will get this area area under the curve fx in today's lesson you will learn how to approximate the area okay this area using numerical methods okay methods that will be used are midpoint rule trapezoidal rule and simpson rule okay let's look at midpoint rule okay this method is based on the area of rectangles which form under the curve of fx. So, we determine the area below the graph by using these rectangles. Okay, we divide the area, the area from A to B into equal size rectangles. Okay, let's look at the definition. Suppose the function fx is continuous in AB where n is the number of rectangles with equal step size h. So we have n number of rectangles. Okay. How much rectangles that we form under the graph? For this example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rectangles with step size h. So each rectangle, the size is h. So the integration is approximately okay, the integration of fx from a to b is approximately given by this formula. Okay, h multiply with fx1 star plus fx2 star until fxn star where this star, okay, this star values are the midpoint. Okay, that's why this method is called midpoint rule. Okay, we want we we determine the midpoint. Okay, let's say the starting point is x node or a, and then the second point is x1. So we determine x1 star equal to x node plus x1 divided by 2. Okay, for x2 star, x2 star equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Okay, and so on. And then you determine value for fx. Okay, fx star here. Okay, substitute this value of x star into fx. Okay, let's look at example 1. Use midpoint rule. With four sub intervals to compute this integration. Use four decimal places in calculations. Okay, so we know that you must use midpoint rule. Okay, this is the midpoint rule, the formula for midpoint rule. So you must determine what is fx, okay, what is a, what is b. Okay, from the question, we know that fx equal to square root of x and then a equal to 0 b equal to 2 okay this is b and then determine h okay h is given by this formula h equal to b minus a divided by n okay, equal to B is 2. 2 minus 0 divided by N. N is number of subintervals, okay, which is 4. Okay, divide by 4, equal to 2 over 4, equal to 0 0.5. Okay, it is more easier to calculate in table. Okay, first, you put I. I is the number of iteration. I, XI. 
and then x i star x i star is the midpoint and then f x i star okay we want this value because we want to substitute in the, in the formula okay then i will start with the zero okay, zero one two until four until n three four x0 x0 means that the starting point which is a 0 so for this iteration we don't have x star next value of x you calculate by using h okay plus h so 0 plus h 0 plus 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 will be 1 and then 1.5 and then 2 okay last one must be equal to b okay, remember the integration start from 0 until 2 so 0 until 2 okay after that calculate the midpoint so for x1 star okay, 0 plus 0 0.5 divide divide by 2 equal to 0 0.5 2, 5. So this is 0 0.25 and then next 0 point x2 star equal to 0 0.5 plus 1 divided by 2 okay, which is 0 0.75 0 0.75 and then complete the rest you will get 1.25 and 1.75 okay next then substitute the values for x i star into the function of fx so substitute 0 0.25 in square root x you will get 0 0.5 square root 0 0.75 you will get 0 0.860 and then square root of square root of 1.25 equal to 1.1180 and then 1.3229 then next substitute all the values into the formula so we have you want to find integration for 0 for square root of x from 0 to 2 okay approximately h f x1 star plus f x2 star plus f x3 star okay, remember until n n equal to 4 okay, plus x4 star okay, equal to h equal to 0 0.5 So summation of all fx1 star until fx4 star equal to okay, equal to okay you sum all this fx1 star this is 3.8069 so 3.8069 equal to a one point nine zero three five okay for trapezoidal rule we approximate the area under this graph under this curve by using trip area of trapezoidal okay this is trapezoidal so using this rule Okay, the integration equal to h multiply with 1 over 2 f a okay, where a is the starting point this is a plus f x 1 plus f x 2 until plus 1 over 2 f b okay, where b is the x n okay, the n limit so this is a and this one is b 
So remember for trapezoidal row, you calculate half of FA plus F1 plus X2 until half of FB. Okay, let's look at example 2. Use trapezoidal rule with 4 subintervals. This is the same example 1. But we use, but we want to solve this question by using trapezoidal rule. Okay, so first, determine fx. fx equal to square root of x. a equal to 0. b equal to 2. And then 2 calculate h. h equal to Okay, B minus A divide by N. Equal to 2 minus 0 divide by 4. Equal to 0 0.5. And then use table to calculate values for FA, uh, FX1 until FB. We have I, XI and also FXI. It's from 0... 1, 2, 3, 4. Xi is the starting point, which is 0, 0. Okay, next value of x is eh? 0 0.5. Okay, plus h. 0 plus h. 0 plus h equal to 0 0.5. 1, 1 1.5 and 2. And then calculate value for fx. This substitute 0 into fx. fx is square root x. Square root 0 is 0. Square root 0 0.5 is 0 0.7071. And then square root 1, 1. Square root 1.5 is 1.2240. Uh, and then 1.4142. Okay, then substitute all the values into formula. We want to find integration of square root x, dx, from 0 to 2, which can be approximately okay, by formula h multiply with 1 over 2 fa plus fx1 plus fx2. Plus fx3 plus 1 over 2 fb. So remember to divide by 2 for fa and also fb. Okay, equal to h equal to 0 0.5. fa, fa is 0. So 0. Plus fx1 is 0 0.7. Okay, fx2 is 1. Plus fx3 is 1.2247. Plus fb divide by 2. So this is fa. And this one is fb. Okay, 1.4142 divide by 2. Okay, and then calculate the values. Okay, the answer is 1.8195. Okay, this is the last method for numerical integration, which is Simpson rule. Okay, this method is based on the area under the parabolic shape of fx. So, we determine the area by using parabolic shape of the of fx so for this rule the approximation equal to h over 3 okay, h over 3 multiply with fa plus 4 multiply with summation of fx odd okay, plus 2 multiply with summation of fx even plus fb so, for this method, you must determine value of x odd and also x even. Okay, let's look at example. x odd is x1, x3, 
x5 and so on. So for x even, x2, x4 and x6. Okay, let's look at example 3. Okay, using the same example, okay, we want to determine the integration by using Simpson rule. Okay, same with the previous method, we determine fx, okay, a and also b. Okay, step number 2 is to, is to determine value of h, which is 0 0.5. And then find the values for fa, fx or and also fx even and also fb in the table. Okay, these are the values for i, xi and also fxi for this question. Okay, then determine fa, fx odd, fx even and also fb. So from the table, okay, the starting f is fa, fa, okay, this one is fx1, so f odd, x odd, fx2 is f, x even, okay, x3 is f, x odd. And last one will be FB. Okay, that's amplitude all the values into the formula. Okay, we want to determine. This is step number 3, step number 4. We want to determine integration of square root, square root x, dx, 0 to 2. Okay, approximately by Simpson rule h over 3 okay f a plus 4 f x odd is f x 1 plus f x 3 okay, plus 2 multiply with f x even is f x 2 okay we only have 1 f x even Okay, last one is F, B. Okay, substitute the values. H equal to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 divided by 3. F, A is 0. 0 plus 4. F, X, 1. F, X, 1 is 0 0.7071. Okay, plus F, X, 3 is... 1.2247 okay, plus 2 multiply with fx even which is 1 okay, plus fa is 1.4142 okay calculate by using calculator then we get this answer is approximately 1.85 Six nine.